Welcome back to another figure review. In this review, we're going to take a look at Joy Toys Crossfire Ling 118 scale action figure. She comes in this box. The front of the box has Joy Toy and the letter G. The side is the plain brown box, the back. Rain bound box, top and bottom. Inside the brown box, ironically, this is not a box. One of the box shows the figure, Joy Toy. That's not Joy Toy, I think it's Crossfire logo. Top of the box. Bottom of the box, side of the box, product information, UPC, other side of the box, back of the boxes, a QR code, probably doesn't do anything. These are really nice heavy duty boxes. Very thick and just slide the top piece off. And you have the insert. Shows the figure and her accessories. She's ten point five centimeters tall. Back of the package, on back of the insert. Bunch of information. Inside the box we have a piece of styrofoam. Inside the box you have your figure. Any accessories? Here she is. This is Crossfire Ling. Very nice detail, very well sculpted female figure. Nice head sculpt. She's just a headband. Kind of almost like a schoolgirl outfit. White shirt, black tie. Some black arm. Gauntlets or sleeves, whatever you want to call them. Black gloves, some straps on her upper arms, on her back. She has a backpack, very well detailed and painted. Some yellow, it's like a yellow smiley face, some silver. You notice on the back of her arm, she has a little device. I'm not sure if you can tell, if you can see out there. On the back of her skirt, she has some pouches, a, a nice sleeth, some green harness, if that's what that is. This is a belt, some silver and black, some more pouches. 
our leg. She has a pistol case, a holster, strapped to her, her bare legs, a knee pad. Looks like very long socks and a set of boots over top of it with some silver for the laces, lace holes. Her articulation, her head goes 360 all the way around on a ball joint. The female figures do not have that neck joint. Her arms, shoulders are ball jointed. They go up that far. Bendable elbows on both sides. This hand goes down and up. And this hand goes in and out, in and out. <clears throat> there are some very small decals on her gloves, on both of them, some orange. Her skirt moves around a good bit when you're playing with your figure. She does have an ab crunch. That's about the most she's going to sit. Now the skirt is removable if you want to go that route. But I'm not going to remove it for this video. Her legs got that far. Or stopped by her skirt. She can do a split that far. She has double jointed knees. Feet pivot down and they, they will go 360, but I'm not going to manipulate it at this time. So I don't want to break my figure without heating it. There is no toe articulation, two pick holes on the bottom of the feet. Some nice close up photos of her, her detail, and her sculpt. This is a very, very nice figure. Now this is meant for adult collectors. Um, this figure may not be appropriate for younger kids because of her, her skirt. She does have panties underneath. I'm not going to show it directly just in case a child's watching this video. Um, if you want to see that, you have to research on your own or purchase the figure. Uh, just trying to keep things clean. Okay, on the side here you have a little plastic baggie. With 
for accessories and joints. Okay, accessories have three alternate hands. Disc ripping hand. This finger spread hand. And another finger spread hand. Obviously one's for right and left. She comes with a knife, black handle, silver blade, or a little dagger, and a pistol. And this pistol is small. Get this thing in focus or not? Yeah, I'm having a hard time focusing on this very small pistol. And her rifle. Wow, look at that paint job. It's like a magenta, maybe? It's not pink. Here, there, some gold. It's a very interesting perch on a weapons paint job. I guess it works because it's a female figure. Let's bring the link back in. These accessories are small. Her knife can get right into her sleeve. And well, I dropped the knife. I probably want to drop this little pistol because it's smaller. She has her gun. Holster right there. You know what? I think that thing's on backwards. Where is it? So it has the. If you can tell it on, it's the front. It's like a little hole in the front to where the butt of the gun would sit in. I'm going to try to get this in off camera. Give me one second. Okay, there it is. That skirt definitely gets in the way when you're trying to put that little pistol in there. That holster is sitting... I guess you would call it backwards. But maybe that's the way it's meant to be. There are various characters that carry their weapons in different positions. Maybe it's her thing. Who knows? Here she is holding her rifle. And I'm sure if you play with it long enough, you can get some pretty dramatic, dramatic poses with a rifle. Okay, 
and she comes with some replacement joints. Oh, fortunately, you're gonna get one. Well, yeah, you get one peach and one black knee joint, and four other joints. If you need to replace your figure's joints, in case they break. All right, well, that's about all I got for this figure. Um, I think this figure retails for between twenty-seven ninety-nine and thirty-five ninety-nine, depending on where you get it. So in that range, for most online retailers. Um, this figure sells out a good bit, but they keep getting back in stock, so it's one of the figures in Joy Toy, Joy Toy Line. You probably don't want to wait too long to decide if you want to pick up or not, because they sell out relatively quickly. Um, so, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next review.